really a, a cream would would take care of that. Like I, I'm sure they make like a topical. Oh, uh, Jesse, we're starting. Oh, uh, <laughs> hi everybody. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Big Town Improv. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to your favorite rash. I, I mean, podcast. Uh. Uh, um, well, um, I hope you uh, uh, are going to have a boil. I mean, a good time with us, too. Uh, um, see, normally, it would be like words that sound sort of similar. That's why you make a mistake. <laughs> yeah. but, but no, in this case, it's completely different. Um, uh, uh, Freud would call it a stupid slip. Yes. Uh, Josh Pilch, my co-host. What is it? Jesse Moriarty, my co-host. Wow, that's. Uh, um, I just thought since you know you've got that co in front of your host, you might tell the listener what they can expect from Big Town Improv. Well, listener, you've tuned into Big Town Improv, and today, as all days, uh, <laughs> we are going to tell some true stories based on random words. Uh, and from the true stories, we will draw details to inspire uh, a montage of short, improvised comedic scenes completely made up off the tops of our heads. And then, Jesse, what happens in the second half? Well, and then in the second half, we, we do something even, uh, even more astounding, which is we, we do a long-form scene um, where we do a single, long narrative improv scene with multiple characters, locations, and themes um, that takes up the entire second part of our uh, improv podcast. And um, I don't want to give too much away, but I heard today's is going to be very good. Yes, yes. Uh, we don't want to give away any of the not-yet-determined improvised material. Uh, yes. Let, let me let me say this real quick right up front before uh, anybody gets a, a chance to... to turn off the show uh i'm trying to trick all of the podcast apps to recommend our show through their algorithm so mm -hmm. listener you're listening right now just open up your podcast app go on there and tap five stars give us five stars <laughs> This is I. I feel I'm sorry to to beg for this, but it does trick the <laughs> the apps to recommend us. On my end. Oh really? Okay, and so now, following the last thing that we just said, there's mm -hmm. been no pause. No. Uh, ah, I love I love just having a conversation. <laughs> uninterrupted yeah. that goes from start to finish don't you like yeah and well and and me too and that's what technology such as the kind that we use allows for um and a good interconnect uh, internet connection like the one i have also allows for um very true josh very true well i think uh that you've said a, a lot of very good and salient things today um and I've, I've got a question for you now, though. Okay, yeah. I assume this is going to be in regards to the last thing we said. Yes, exactly. Uh, um, about that topic. Um, mm -hmm. And I think this is the key point. Would, would you like some random words? Jesse, yes, I would like some random words. Thank you for asking. All right, let's randomize some words with a generator that I, is made for that purpose. Um, yes, and okay. these words will inspire our stories. Here are your words, Josh. Hesitate. Surgeon. Club. Distort. Cupboard. Morale. Job. Arrest. Grandmother Forestry. <laughs> that one runs the gam gamut. <clears throat> I thought so as well. Did you, uh, did you ever, uh, did your grandmother ever have a job working for the Forestry Service, Josh? <laughs> Actually, yeah. Now that you mention it. Uh, no, no, unfortunately, no. Um, yeah, um... 
What was your first job? My first job, uh, I guess technically it was I helped my dad in uh, a print shop. Uh, he's a uh, printing press man. He runs a. He's gigantic. a printing press. Press men. He's not I, a printer. I don't see the resemblance at all. <laughs> frankly. <Do> you know what? <laughs> Thank you for saying I don't look like a large machine. Do you know what? I intentionally said printing pressman because I used to always say he's a printer and everybody would go, He's a printer? Like a desktop printer? <laughs> uh. It's interesting because um Printer indeed would refer to who uh, you know the job mm-hmm. of someone who, who prints in the same way that in like archaically the word computer was a job. So you were right. hired uh, someone who was hired to compute things. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what so, do you do for a living? I'm a computer. <laughs> which would have uh, yeah like any point I guess past like what the 1960s that that sentence doesn't make any sense. But before that. Um, you yeah. probably could have. Uh, could so your dad was a printing press, um, presumably invented by Gutenberg. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> no, 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 he was a pressman. But I was working. Uh, so he worked at this print shop, and I was working in the bindery, which is where they take the items from the small press, which would be. Uh, which is somebody else's dad. Uh, <laughs> Small Josh. <laughs> uh, and and th- that would be things like, um, you know, postcards and, and mailers. And uh, so I was stuffing envelopes all the time, like with junk mm. mail, basically. Like I was making uh, the junk mail to be sent out. Uh, wow. Very repetitive. And, um, you know, just days of... Of uh, okay, take from this pile, put it in this thing, ad- adhere it with this, and uh, uh, it's funny because like I, you know, now working in the arts, like you get a lot of um, people have a, ha- an idea of what's the best way to accomplish something or what's the best look for something, but it was the same in the bindery. Like uh, people are like, well. You know, the best way, of course, is to jog the papers like this and uh, open the envelope like this. This will be the fastest way to do it. And, uh, and people had really strong opinions <laughs> about how to stuff envelopes. That's funny. Uh, that, am- <laughs> that, am- that amuses me. Uh, how did you keep up morale in such a, a tedious <laughs> job? Well, it wasn't really my job. Uh I'll, I'll tell you what didn't keep up morale is I remember uh, doing this at some point around Christmas time and they would just play the um, the radio station that played Christmas music and like, man, do they play the same songs over and over. It, like, and even the same versions of the same songs. Like... <laughs> <laughs> my my at, at at the bookstore I used to, I worked at for a long time they it, uh, that was also like just this the 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 most uh, uh, banal Christmas station that they could find you know like yeah. eventually I just I learned how to tune it out entirely um, to oh. the point where like I couldn't actually even hear it if I wanted to uh, <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> yeah oh no uh, was that uh, your first job the bookstore um i guess i suppose officially it was yes um mm. i uh, was the was the barnes and noble bookstore job i got um which uh yeah which i i bounced around in for longer than i should have um mm. that's another thing that where people had a lot of opinions um, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, like, um, like about how books should be stacked so they make nice little pyramids. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's crazy how I, I, you know what? I guess you gotta find things that matter sometimes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Um, like, uh, I mean, obviously the I. I I don't know if like 
anybody ever did like a, a check where they did like okay here's the barnes and noble that does all those small things like stacking things in a particular way stacking things by color and size and etc cetera, etc cetera. <laughs> and here's one that didn't <laughs> like what's the comparison of sales you know like assuming all, <laughs> right, other, things, right. um, yeah. all other things are equal like <laughs> because that's, of course, you have to remember about a business is like the only reason they do things is because they think it improves sales. Like they, yes, they, 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 no, no one like made a decision in that company just because they thought it was a, uh, um, appropriate thing to do, you know? Um, right. Or a nice way to treat a, an employee. Exactly. <laughs> Certainly not yeah. that. But at the exactly. same time. You know, the way these corporations work, uh, like Barnes and Noble, where they like need to show like continuous, infinite growth, like they are just making stuff up. They're like, I think the way to increase sales would be to stack books this way. (laughs) Yeah, but I was there long enough that I was uh, able to see a lot of policies like get uh, reconsidered. You know, and, right. re- and and changed, and, and so that, like the big wigs upstairs who have no job other than like um, idly considering these uh, minutia, um, yeah, like they would okay, very occasionally, uh, occasionally, you know, like a order would come down from on high saying like, oh, that's not the way we're doing it anymore. Now we're doing it right. this way because they decided right. that this is actually more uh, likely to draw in the eye of the. Uh, prospective customer um, <laughs> right, I, the, exactly. the reason I quit that job the reason I quit that job after a long time and um, you know they were they were they were you know actually fairly decent to me but the reason mm. I quit was because I got stuck at the cash register and they kept on adding things you had to say you know like oh, like yeah. sign up for this and this and yeah, Barnes and Noble give, got bad about that for a while. I remember <laughs> it was infuriating, and like, and they tracked all of them. They were all metrics that like you as employees had right. to, to keep on, had to stay above a certain threshold to do. Eventually, it got so uh, wearisome that I uh, that I, I didn't I, I quit the job. Um, it was actually a funny thing because like I was like, okay, fuck this, I'm gonna go start looking for a new job. And I found one and got hired at that new job. Um, but I didn't, I hadn't told because I didn't know if I was going to get hired at the other job. So I was like, well, I don't want to burn any bridges here. Right. So, yeah. uh, but then they, they called me in like the day after I had heard that I was officially hired at the, at the second job. And they were like, um, uh, your, your metrics aren't high enough. Like we're con- we're concerned <laughs> that you haven't been asking enough people for their emails, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and uh, I was like, okay, I quit. <laughs> um, I... <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> that is not what they're expecting, I imagine. I mean, I was going to, I, uh, of course I was going to uh, say that anyway. But, right, uh, right. <laughs> but to be able to say it as a response to yeah. nitpicks is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Well, well, once Jesse. again, Josh, once yeah. again, you make a very good point, and everything you said and I said uh, is very flows seamlessly into the next into what we're saying now. You know, continuity and, is 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 the hallmark of Big Town Improv. Absolutely, and and what a great response to the thing that either you or I said previous to this. Correct. Uh, Without any large gaps due to technical issues. Yes. Um, well, I've got the. You know who I've got here, Josh, is the Gregorian monks. Uh, oh, oh, good. Uh, I mean, yep, I saw them come in. There's been no time uh, lost. You guys uh, ready? Uh, that's weird. They're they're frozen. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. I got uh, human human beings. I got to turn them place. off and start them up again. Hang on. <sighs> okay. Uh, what an unfortunate uh, it, <laughs> technical issue, uh, uh, un- unlike anything we've experienced so far. Okay, we're ready episode. to go here, Josh. I've got the monks back uh, back in action. Um, okay. and, uh, but you know why we bring the monks, of course. Of course, so they can tell us the name of the next segment. Well, what is it, boys? 
Connection on the Some box. Skipping there, yeah. Hmm. Is that how you're gonna uh, stack the books there? Yeah, yeah. I was thinking stacking them from the biggest to the smallest. Hmm. Uh, it's interesting. It's interesting. What do you? What do you mean by that? Interesting. Uh, uh, nothing. I mean, if you want to, like, uh, you know, uh, if you want to take longer and create something that's not going to draw the eye of the customer, you can do it that way. If it were me, if it were me, yes, I would stack them horizontally. So, so almost not a stack, but a row. A row of and, books. <laughs> yeah, and I would, and I would make them go from smallest to biggest. I see. Well, uh, I mean, I understand why you would say that since you're an idiot. But uh, if you consider the uh, the actual smartest way to do things, I think you'll come around that uh, biggest to smallest is actually the best way. <laughs> okay, so you think biggest smallest and up and down. Yeah. is better than smallest to biggest and left to right. I'm pretty sure. Look, ha- hey, how about this? You, we've uh-huh. got one table here and one uh-huh. table over there. Same size of table, same books uh, on either side of this aisle. <laughs> and is that wise, I wonder? That... <laughs> well, that's, that's outside of our... Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> that's a, out of our, out of our uh, pay grade. But yeah, what do you say? Way. You try it your way, and I'll try okay. it my way, and we'll just we'll make a bet to to see whose book table sells better. All right, you're on. Okay. Uh, all right. And if I win, you have to go on the PA system and say that uh, that uh, you are a big dumb dope. Oh, my Achilles heel. Uh, <laughs> That's right. Fine. Fine, but if I win, then you have to um, you have to go to the in-store Starbucks and order a big cup of doo-doo. Ah, oh, but the doo-doo here is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all know it. We it's all know it. It's not like an authentic Starbucks. Right, uh. right. Right. <laughs> Fine. All right. You've got a deal. Okay. I'll shake on it. All right. There, <clears throat> there it is. Our hands shaking together. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We we can see it easily. Oh, <laughs> here comes a customer. Here comes a customer now. Two of them, actually. Let's see what. Uh. Uh, let's see what they do. <laughs> well, uh, I really could go <laughs> for a book, brother. <laughs> Oh, yes, brother. I feel the same way. That's why I entered the barns. And noble. And noble, uh, brother. (laughs) Oh, brother, look. A table with books. And on this side of the store, a table with books. Why, that's just what we wanted, brother. Oh, and and look, these books are stacked up and up and down. That really uh, draws my eye. You're right, brother. But these books are stacked biggest to smallest. That <laughs> makes me hard. I'm, wait, I'm sorry. It makes you what? It makes me hard, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, uh, uh, maybe the next set of customers yeah, Let's call this uh, one like a mulligan Okay uh, uh, but, but, but we would still uh, like to make a purchase No, I think you have to leave <laughs> Oh, shucks 
brother, you've gotten us kicked out of another barns. And noble, brother. <laughs> okay, all right. So that one didn't count. No, that uh, was all. They were freaks, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, they, they were. They, yeah, those are we- a couple of weirdos. Uh, let's see what normal people are going to do in right, response okay. to our table. Good, good. <clears throat> Hmm. Uh. Oh my, what a wonderful day to be shopping for books. You've said it. You've <laughs> said it and you can say it again uh, with a tip of the hat. It's an excellent day for book shopping. Uh, indeed it is. Well, uh, look what I spy upon these two tables. Why, uh, it's books. Books at the bookstore. Books indeed. Hmm, uh, yes, I would be interested in purchasing one. Yes, well, I think I would too, now you mention it. Mm, yes. Mm. Oh my, mm. this, <laughs> this uh, uh, pile of books is stacked uh, up and down. That makes me quite happy. Mm, but this one is stacked biggest to smallest. That makes me happy. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, but I guess it doesn't really matter in the long run. Let's just go <laughs> and pay. <laughs> Goodbye. <clears throat> uh, okay, so uh, I guess we didn't learn anything from those fancy British gentlemen either. No, uh, no. But again, like, that's another outlier, I think, you know? Right. Like, that, that is not the usual clientele. No, we're we getting some here. weird people today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's just a bunch of weird characters walking through. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, all, right. all right. Well, here comes some more. Here comes some more. Okay. What a wonderful day to be a giant snake. <laughs> Oh, you said it. <laughs> you know what I've always wanted to do, fellow snake? What is it, fellow snake? Read a book. <laughs> Me too. Oh, look. There are books piled upon these two tables. It doesn't matter to us how they're arranged. I'm just going to take one from the table I'm closest to. And you take one from the table you're closest to. Indeed. Here I go. Bite. Ah! (laughs) Ah! What's happening? Why did you do that? You knew what we were when you let us in the store. (laughs) We didn't let you in the store. We've just been standing here the whole time. You didn't have a sign saying no snakes. We again. That is above our pay grade, and we don't we don't design the signage for this store. Well, maybe you've learned something today. Then come on, let's pay for our books and leave, <laughs> fellow snake. Indeed, slither, slither. But they they each took one from. Yeah, from it's the third set in a row that when they've one has taken it from your table and one from mine. <sighs> Anyway, do you want some of this anti-venom? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, thanks. Oh, man. This isn't the one from regular Starbucks. No. Uh, they don't know how to make good anti-venom here. Uh, uh. Well, I'm sure we'll get a pair of customers who are just average, normal humans who shop at a bookstore, you know? And, and whose mind uh, can be... Affected by small changes in arrangement. Right, right. That's the idea here. Yes. Subtle psychology. Yeah, exactly. Like, which is more appealing uh, from a design standpoint? Um, well, uh, it's a pretty good day to go shopping, wouldn't you say? Uh, well, it's neither a good day or a bad day. If you ask me, it's a normal day is what it is. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's uh, quite, uh, uh, I feel rather um, in the middle about this. I agree. Uh, and uh, we're only Okay, here. wait. Hold on. Hold on. Just, just, just a minute. 
Why is everybody coming in pairs of, like, identical (laughs) character types? (laughs) What do you mean? We can't speak to what other people are doing. (laughs) Yes, I don't understand the the question. Uh, I'm just here with my friend. Yeah. Yes, and we came, I came here with my friend. (laughs) (laughs) And I came here with my brother. Yes, and the snakes. That are currently eating us also came <laughs> together, but none of us planned it that way. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Look at how it unhinges its jaw to swallow those two wacky characters. I quit. Yeah. Todd, um, are you, uh, are you, uh, upstairs here? Uh, yeah, honey, uh, uh, yeah, I'm right upstairs. What's up? Um, well, I have, I have something to tell you. Uh, oh, uh, okay, uh, I'll come down. Uh, <laughs> um, our son, uh was made fun of in school today. Oh no. It's that that bully again? Uh yes. Uh well, maybe you'd like to tell your father about it. Uh uh Jonas. <laughs> Dad? Yeah, what what Dad, is it, they Jonas? Were, they, they were making fun of you. They said you're you're just a giant machine for quickly printing <laughs> out large sheets of paper. What's what's this, Jonas? I they said uh, you're I a don't... printing press, Dad. <laughs> uh, I boy, the slang uh, changes so quickly. I'm not sure I I understand the uh, the insult. Uh, <clears throat> well, uh, honey, I think I think uh, they're talking about how you're a multi-ton uh, metal piece of equipment. <laughs> used to uh you know make uh, quick copies of uh printed material um and uh, well, i think i think you should explain hold, to your son uh <laughs> hold on hold on i uh, i'm looking at my son let me turn and face you my wife <laughs> all right okay just remember the remember the the ceiling so, uh, honey <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I'll try to stay on the carpet too. Not, it won't scuff the floors. Yeah. Uh, so, so you're saying you're saying that it's, uh, it's difficult for Jonas it, it, because I'm sort of different from the other dads. Well, the the kids at school make fun of him for having a uh, large, heavy industrial piece of equipment for a father. <laughs> Um, and I thought you could explain to him, you know, why you're jo- why you're so important and why you're essential to making like big posters and things, <laughs> <laughs> wall, you know, signs and banners. <laughs> yeah, Jonas, son, it, it, it's it's very true. Uh, um, uh, I accomplish a lot by being a. <clears throat> large machine that is capable of rolling various inks uh, <laughs> and uh, applying them to multiple sheets of paper in succession. I know, uh, I know, Dad. And, and I've always liked watching you uh, spit out like six copies a minute. Um, but, <laughs> but, 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 Dad, the other... Well, what what's that? But the other kids, they 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 just they say that it's it's bizarre and impossible and, and and doesn't fit the laws of physics that you're a sentient printing press. Bizarre and impossible. All right, son. Listen, uh, I I know it's hard when the kids are making fun, but you gotta let it not bother you. Uh, so tomorrow, if those bullies start to say anything about me being a large <laughs> press, uh, 
uh, a large Heidelberg brand press, uh, you just tell them that uh, Heidelberg's you the get... only company for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Jonas, you just tell them that uh, uh, everybody's different and you get to have more posters than the average kid. I Can will, you do Dad. do that, son? I will, All Dad. Right. Thanks. I love you. Yeah. Big hug. <laughs> Oh no, my Ke- loose shirt, careful, it got get... caught in the roll. Ah, oh no. Ah, I shouldn't uh. have worn loose clothing around you, Dad. <laughs> Quick, hit the big red button on my back. Me. Me. <laughs> 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 the, the next day at school. <laughs> hey, Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> What what's wrong with your hand? Oh, I bet I know. <laughs> it's nothing. Yeah, then they did it. It didn't get caught in your dad's large rollers. <laughs> yeah, okay, it did. But he's an industrial machine. He's uh, you know, he's <laughs> it's not meant for. Look, he admitted it. He admitted it. Look, look. Everybody's different, and because my dad's a Heidelberg brand printing press, I get to have more posters in my room than you do, <laughs> Willis. <laughs> uh, that's right. You tell them, son. Dad, you came to pick me up. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I thought maybe you could use a ride home. How is uh, he... How is he driving? <laughs> Hold on, let me get out of the car and talk to your friends. Okay, I've fallen fully onto my side, which is really bad for equipment like this. Like oh me. no, Willis, your dad's a forklift. Can he help? <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Hey, Willis! I came to pick you up! Ugh. So embarrassing! <laughs> Wait a minute, your dad is also a large machine? It's, yeah, but... You know, he's a forklift. He's a useful machine. <laughs> well, now, hang on. When I'm fully upright, I can be pretty useful. You tell him, Dad. As as soon as Mister Johnson gets you right by right side up again. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Willis Senior. Senior. <laughs> now, now listen, uh, little Jeffrey. You seem to have a lot of opinions about uh, what's wrong with uh, everybody else, but you know, uh, I. I'm going to assume that, uh, you know, your life's as as unique as any of ours. I don't, I don't know about that. Uh, eh, whatever. I got to go home. Well, I, I think we showed him dad and thanks (laughs) Mr. Johnson too for, for helping out when my dad suffered an industrial accident here in the parking lot. (laughs) <laughs> sure, no problem. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Look at look at Jeffrey. Uh Is that Jeffrey's dad? <laughs> yeah, I, I I guess it is. Huh. Very interesting, huh? So, as it turns out, Jeffrey's dad is uh <laughs> Is a um, uh, a large airplane turbine. Oh God, he sucked Jeffrey in. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey! Oh God! Oh man! Oh wow! So it turns out he was projecting all along, uh, and mm. now he's dead because he was. <laughs> <laughs> That'll teach him. Uh, honey, yeah, uh, uh, thanks for coming to the mall with me, you know, 
getting yeah. uh getting some last minute shopping done. Yeah, yeah, no, I I, I understand. You know, we're uh, always putting things off to the last minute. <laughs> <laughs> you you know me. I, I the next year will be different. <laughs> uh, that's what you said uh, no, last on. year. <laughs> I'm, hold on, I'm I'm reaching my hands out. I'm kind of feeling in front of me in case there's anything. Uh, uh, okay, okay. It looks like it's safe to walk forward here. Why, why wouldn't it be safe to walk forward? Uh, you can see just ahead of you. Oh, right. I, I guess, yeah, maybe I haven't told you about this. Um, uh, I am incapable of perceiving anything to do with Christmas. Um, I had a job when I was a kid where, uh, they would just play Christmas music, uh, all day long and it it got so tiresome that I tuned it out of my, of my brain and unfortunately just trained it out forever. And, uh, I can never, I can never perceive anything to do with Christmas anymore. So that's why I'm feeling out, making sure there's no Santa here. I guess I could have just asked you. Well, there, there isn't. I, that, that's weird. I, how could that not have come up at any point in our pre- early relationship? Uh, I know, huh? That's strange. Well, uh, okay. Well, my, my, my sister wants uh, something here from um, Old Navy. So let's... Uh, Let's, let's step in here real quick, I suppose. All right. Oh, okay. oh, oh! Salvation Army! Donations for the Salvation Army! And I'm just... Uh, uh, oh, hold on. I'm just going to lean against the wall and no, look, wait. And look up. Uh, there's coupon. a... Um, oh! Uh, Christ, my, what, what was uh, that what's, for? What's, what's wrong strange. with you, buddy? Huh? Uh, wait, I can hear a voice, kind of. <laughs> wait, I... So you can't hear or see the Santa Claus standing next to you? I can kind of hear him. I guess because he's dropping oh, character a little bit. <laughs> it should be irritated with you. Yeah, I could hear someone was complaining, but... Uh, oh, it, it was. It, were you asking for donations? Hello, are you there? Uh, no, it was my fault. I guess I shouldn't have. Uh... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ho, 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 uh, ho. Uh, where'd you go? Uh... Okay, let's let's just walk past here. Let's just get. Let's go past the Santa Claus, okay? Uh, okay. Uh, man, okay. I got the coupon up on my phone anyway. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I like All this right. sweater right here. This is nice. Um, see yeah, it? your sister would like that. See how it's arranged here with the brightest color in the center of the table? That caught my eye, so I went to this table. <laughs> uh, That's funny, because I went straight to this other table where it, the the brightest sweaters were in a, a, a circle around the edge, and the dullest sweaters were in the center. Huh, interesting. Yeah, uh, interesting. Uh, um, I guess it's sort of a zero sum there. Uh, attention guests, uh, don't be alarmed. But one of Santa's, Santa's reindeer has gotten loose and is rampaging <laughs> through the mall. Um, we ask it that all guests please remain calm and proceed uh, to the exits. That's strange. Aren't they going to tell us what they're warning about? Well, you didn't hear anything after the word attention guests? <laughs> no, that's no. I heard. Uh, <laughs> I heard. Please be careful and. Uh, Head to the exit. There was a huge gap in the middle, which was odd. There's a reindeer on the loose. One of the mall Santa reindeer that's there for the petting area got loose. And honey, ramp- honey, uh, honey, wait! You can't even hear me contextualize <laughs> it for you. Uh, okay, oh no, hang gosh. on. I gotta find the limits of this. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, there, there, can I tell you? The, the... Let, let's start vague. There's a danger. You understand that, okay. right? Yeah, I understand. There's a, can I can I say the danger is the, an the, animal. Can I say the minor annoyance that was working with Christmas music would have been worth it in hindsight to not have to deal with this. But okay, so there's an animal. Yes, there's a large animal. Okay, large animal. Large animal native to the tundra. Okay, the tundra up north. Yeah, uh, it uh-huh. has antlers. Okay, so like a deer or a moose. Okay, so far so good. Uh-huh. Um, 
It's known for pulling a sleigh. Pulling a. Okay, so that I was. Think, I think you said sleigh, but it, your voice got all fuzzy and uh, like it was coming coming out of a like a toy whose battery was. Okay, was so this going is dead. interesting. Um, <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Uh, let's uh, no I'm curious okay um, what about like things that are only tangential like hot chocolate Uh, uh, okay I could hear that pretty well but it it got a little bit quieter okay Uh, candy cane yeah uh, that was very quiet (laughs) okay so this is so (laughs) oh god we just stood here talking we forgot about the very real danger I I don't know what the danger is I was so curious about the uh, rules of your condition that I forgot about the rampaging uh, (laughs) honey how does this look does it look like I've been impaled and like just lifted into the air by by some sort of phantom force yeah it does it looks becky why are you being lifted by the seat of your pants and thrown around wildly by nothing ah that's so like uh okay uh uh, i mean if you could call an ambulance that'd be great but i'm still just profoundly curious no no i i'm gonna call for help you seem hurt uh, Merry Christmas. How can I help you? This is 911. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, sorry, I'm getting a lot of static on the line. Uh, <laughs> also, uh, I was kind of hoping you'd pick up a little faster. Listen, I, I need a, an ambulance down at the uh, Oxford Valley Mall. Oh, what's the problem, sir? Uh, well, my, my girlfriend got attacked by, uh, something. Something? Can you be more specific? Does it matter? She's hurt. <laughs> I guess not. I'm not good at my job. I'm, saying, <laughs> I'm sending the ambulance now. Okay. Oh, uh, uh got... just be on the lookout for a large red and white vehicle. Red and white? Is that, honey, can you, because those are kind of, like... Sort of associated. Yeah, no, no, but that's okay. That's that is what color an ambulance is. That's and that's not the main Christmas color. I guess not. Oh, my mistake. We're out of the red and white ambulances, but we'll send one of our red and green ones. You're what? <laughs> <laughs> Speak English, man. My girlfriend's in trouble. Okay, so just the concept of red and green, huh? <laughs> What are you? Are you making a checklist? <laughs> yeah, I feel like we have to know the hard edges of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh no! Uh, uh, attention, members of all uh, members, no shoppers and uh, employees of Old Navy. Uh, it seems that all of uh, Santa's workshop. Uh, uh, is being relocated here. Uh, <laughs> so here come my elves and uh, some more reindeer, but these ones are nice. Check uh, the halls with bells of holly. <laughs> ah, ah, honey, I can't see. I can't see. <laughs> You've just gone completely blind now, apparently. Uh, <laughs> huh. I wish the ambulance would hurry up. <laughs> what a what a what a time. What a normal time to be recording Big Town Improv. All of our technology is working. Yep. I'm looking right at your face. I can see you too, Josh. And you look nice yep. today. Thank you. You do too. Is that a new um, hat? Uh, yes, it is. And, uh, is that a new brooch? <laughs> yes. Uh, it's, uh, it's lovely, isn't it? Um. Uh, of course, uh, our YouTube viewers will be able to see all of this, um, since our 
technology is working perfectly. Just perfectly. It's, it's, I've never had technology work better, actually. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's like working strangely well. Speaking of, do you want to see how a perfect random word generator works? Uh, sure, yeah. Let's, let's uh, see what yeah, the perfect assortment of random words is, you know? Yeah. Uh, for our anyway, second part. Such... For our second part. That's right, to inspire our long form, uh, long scene. Yep. Uh... All right, and uh, I can only assume that the random word generator is going to work perfectly, and these words are going to be random. These are random words, and are you ready here, Josh? Yeah, let's hear it. The words are defendant, king, ask, champagne, executive, Instruction, convulsion, mark, dip, and bed. Mr. King, your uh, th- your three thirty is here. Oh yes, uh, send them in right away. Are you uh, Dylan King? That's me. Um, uh, this is uh, an unusual request. Um, you must be. Uh, you must be William Queen. <laughs> That's right. Call me Bill. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bill. We'll uh, Bill have Queen. a seat. Um, well, no doubt you've uh, seen the papers recently. Um, and, uh, you know that, um, well, you know, you know I'm in trouble. Uh, you know that, uh, the law is closing in around me. Um, and so I've come to you. Uh, Dylan King, the best lawyer in the world. (laughs) That's what my benches say. Yep, I... I can see it right here. Dylan King, best lawyer in... It's weird that you have a bus bench here in your office, eh? <laughs> <laughs> now, now, Mr. Queen. Yeah. Uh, this, this is a pretty high-profile uh, case we're dealing with here. Uh, you're, uh, you're an important man. Um, uh, and uh, the accusations against you are pretty severe. I know. I understand your reluctance to take this case, King. But uh, I think once I uh, show you what I'm willing to pay, you'll change your tune. I'm gonna. Wow. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a piece of paper and I'm gonna write a number on it and I'm gonna slide it towards you, okay? So that you can look at it and, and that'll be our offer, okay? All right, but uh, but I should warn you, I have a very good poker face, so I'm not going to let on if I think it's like a really good um, offer. Okay, fair enough. Here it comes. Uh, tip it up. Uh, <laughs> um, yes, I think that should be sufficient. Excellent. Um, then I expect uh, when the, the, my trial begins, you will uh, get me off. Completely, uh, I don't. I don't want to see spend a single day behind bars, King. Uh, uh, understandable, Queen. Um, uh, yes, Queen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, now, uh, look. It's my duty as a defense attorney to defend my clients. I to understand. the best of my abilities. I understand. Um, uh, um, now, uh, you are an executive at... Um, Queen Beds. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We yes, make, the mattress company. We make the finest beds in the world. Queen Beds. Right. Uh, That's right. But uh, th- this recent defect in, uh, in the mattresses is um I, I want you to let me let me let me contextualize this for you king okay mm-hmm. all uh, right um do you know how many mattresses we sell in a week i i, I couldn't hazard a guess 2000 that's the average king 
Two thousand wow. mattresses a week. That's all our stores cr- all across the country. We've also got international establishments in London, uh, Berlin, and Hong Kong. So when I when I'm talking beds, I know what I'm talking about. Okay, and how many people have been eaten by their beds? Okay. <laughs> uh, well, eighteen. Uh, okay, and and right. that's that's in the past year. So that's, that's nothing, King. That's a drop in the bucket compared to the number of mattresses sold. Uh, I know, but, but you must admit that any amount of people getting eaten by their bed is cause for alarm. Look, we of course regret anyone who, you know, lays down in bed, pulls the covers up, and close their eye, closes their eyes, only to have the bed snap shut like a big mouth and make a nom 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 sound as they're devoured. <laughs> <laughs> but at a certain point, like, let the buyer beware, right? I mean, it is on the little tag that comes with the mattress. That the, it's a non-zero chance. Uh, I... And I, I plan to bring that up in court, but let me level with you, Queen. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, uh, the, um, the, the state is going to throw everything they've got at you. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they, um, if they use the most ruthless prosecutor in the state, um, uh, 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 t- <laughs> Tilly Ace. Tilly Ace. Um, yeah, <laughs> I've heard about yeah. Tilly Ace. Tilly yes. Ace was the one who got that ninety-eight-year-old grandma sentenced to death for sending a birthday card to her son. <laughs> That's it, it's true, and there are, and as you know, there are no, there is no further explanation. <laughs> No, story. she wasn't. There was no extenuating circumstances there at all. <laughs> no, no. The, T- Tilly Ace is no joke. She is. Uh, she is ruthless, and I think you and I both know that she is going to go hard at these rumors that um, that you intentionally. As part of some sort of demonic ritual, uh, have transformed a certain number of your beds into man-eating monsters uh, as some sort of sacrifice. Uh, uh, you're saying look, that's what Tilly Ace is going to is going to go with. That's her prosecution uh, uh, tack. Uh, I, I she she'd be crazy not to. Well, that's ridiculous. Um, for me to do that, 23 people would have had to be eaten by their beds. That's the number of sacrifices that the demon lord Baphomet requires. But it's only okay. been 18. <laughs> okay. I think it may be alarming to uh, to the jury that you even know that information at all. Look, I need you to level with me. You weren't intentionally uh transforming your beds into man-eating demons were you i have uh confidentiality i assume that, that's right like nothing i say you you're not allowed to to use it or turn it into uh the uh the authorities that's right okay so, so it behooves you to be completely honest with me okay no, I was not <laughs> trying to do those things. All right, that better be true. Because <clears throat> I don't know if you also read the um, seat part of my bench. Oh, let me scoot when over you... here a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> when you walked in, someone was sitting on it. You could only see the back that said, uh, world's best attorney. Mm. But on the seat... You'll also see world's most honest attorney. I wish the two didn't overlap. Um, <laughs> I, I, cons- I considered uh, going to uh, Frank Hart, who's the world's second best attorney, but he's also dishonest. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but he's the second best. Uh, yeah, well, and... Really, you're, uh, I have to say, I like, you kind of defy the yeah. stereotype in that, like, apparently you're honest and a good attorney, you know, and most people assume. <laughs> it, it, well, it's true, and, and that's why Frank Hart is, is number two. Um, you know, uh, his, his last name is a, a suit in cards. Right. Um, not one of the <laughs> numbers or... or uh, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know we were, <laughs> we were going with the names of the... Uh, um. We weren't going with anything. That's his name. Right. I'm just making an observation. Okay. okay? Yeah. I need you to be... I, I, you can't be this touchy in court tomorrow. All right. I promise. I'll, I'll be as uh, level-headed as a man who sells mattresses can possibly be. All right, that that's that's good to hear. The next, um, the next afternoon at the courthouse, all <laughs> rise for the honorable Judge Jack. <clears throat> Please be seated. <clears throat> that's right. My last name is one of the. <laughs> Faces, uh, one of the face cards, uh, not just a suit. Um, uh, so if that were a pattern being established, I would follow along. Now, um... <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Hair flip. Oh, um, that's all right, um, uh, Ms., uh, Ms. Ace. Um... <clears throat> Uh, <laughs> uh, you can, uh, you, you know where, where to, uh, Yes, I know, I know where to sit. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Over here. Right? I know, we all know, we're, we're all understand Christmas, how yes. law works. And feel free to place your trombone, uh, beside your prosecution area. Very well. But I, uh, but with your permission, your honor, I will play it at certain intervals of the trial. Uh, uh, all right, I, uh, I will allow it. Mm. <clears throat> and, uh, on the defense side, I see we have, uh, Mr. King. Uh, uh, yes, Your Honor, uh, I'm ready to defend, uh, my client, uh, using the best law tactics, uh, there are. Hmm. And the most honest ones. But not a trombone. No. No, why would it? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Um, uh, uh, the court is in session for the trial of Mr. William Queen. Call me Bill. <laughs> All right. The trial of Bill Queen. Um, uh, uh, let 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 us first hear an opening statement from the defense attorney. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, have a look at the man you see before you. Hey, the kind of man who works hard to. Uh, Get all of us the beds that we need, and not the kind of man to allow such uh, uh, horrible events to happen as, uh, you know, your bed coming to life and eating you up. The defense rests. (laughs) No, you don't want to do that. You do that at the end. (laughs) I mean... Well, okay, that's the end of the trial. No, 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 sorry, sorry. Um, (laughs) uh, All right, but if you do that again, I'm going to have to end the trial right when you say it. (laughs) Ms. Ace, do you have any um, response to this opening statement? I do. Now, uh... Mr. Queen is a fine lawyer and a very honest lawyer. Um, 
he's gotten a lot of people uh, off uh, for crimes they didn't commit, and we can all applaud him for that. However, Bill Queen is clearly, as I will establish, a demon worshipping bed <laughs> sorcerer. <laughs> and furthermore, um, I will establish that Bill Queen not only knew about his the beds that eat people, he encouraged it. And <gasps> and to sell my point, bow, 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 bow. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> Oh, lovely. <laughs> wow. Uh, such good uh, um, round uh, uh, and whole sounds you're getting out of that, uh, that instrument. I can uh, also it's not an easy one to play. I can also do the cantina from Star Wars. Do, 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 do. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to call the first witness? I would. Uh, the prosecution calls... Bill Queen to the stand. Uh, no, that's not surprising. He's the main. <laughs> don't you don't have to whisper after everything. Um. All right, uh, Mr. Queen, if you could uh, swear for the for the bailiff. All right, all right. I'm sitting down. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, here comes the bailiff with the with the Bible. Uh, here you go. Uh, do I do anything with it? <laughs> One Bible. You can have it. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry, please be patient with the bailiff. He, he's new. Uh, he, he's excited, but he's, he's, new. he's very green. Mr. Queen. You are in the bed business, isn't that right? That's right, yeah. I've been selling beds for 30 years. 30 years of bed sales. It's must oh, no. be quite a number of beds that you've sold then. Yeah, yeah. 2,000 a week for 30 years. I think I've sold quite a few beds. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. I think Ace is trying to set one of her traps. I'm going to try to signal at, at Queen uh, using a f facial expressions. Yeah, well, I love it. Well, what's that? Uh, King's making a weird face here. He must want... Stop! Stop talking about what your lawyer is doing <laughs> in the middle of my... Uh, in the middle of my question, sir. Um, of those beds, uh, have you ever intentionally sold one that is defective? No. No, I have. Uh, what is he... He's shaking his head really hard. Tell <laughs> say no, say no. I have not ever sold a bed that was intentionally defective. So, you admit that the beds that you sold that ate people were not defective, but were designed to eat people in order to please the demon lord Baphomet. <laughs> say no, say no. Uh, uh, um, I didn't say uh, that. No, I... Uh, uh, um, hey, look over there! <laughs> huh? Uh. Okay, I'm done. I'm back in my seat here next to... <laughs> next to the lawyer. Uh. Mm, uh, all right. Uh, I, I don't remember it, but, uh, I suppose while I was looking over at the left wall, uh, you must have rested your, uh, questions. I guess I must have, yes. There was, uh, I don't recall doing it either, but... Um, I, I don't see why I wouldn't have done that. Um, yes, yes. Uh, well, and we would, uh, we wouldn't mistake something like that, uh, you know, unless we were under the thrall of a, uh, a, uh, person using dark mystical powers, but, uh, <laughs> of course, nothing like that could happen. Quite, quite, quite. Um, well, it's your witness, uh, Dylan. Yes, of course. We take turns calling witnesses. Uh, okay, I would like to call to the stand uh, uh, Vice President of Queen Beds, um, Terrence uh, Deck of Cards. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Mm. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, uh, the bailiff is going to hand you a Bible. I don't know where he keeps getting them, but... Uh, oh, how nice. I'll just take this Bible. <laughs> uh all right, uh, Mr. Deck of Cards. I, so I was hoping you could testify to the character of Mr. Bill Queen. Bill Queen is the nicest man I've ever met. He loves people. He loves uh, the way they writhe. He loves he loves uh, taking care of them. And uh, mm. Bill Queen is uh, uh, always does what he thinks is right. Huh. Okay. Not quite the uh, unambiguous terminology I would have hoped for, but uh, um, uh, uh, all right. Well, um, the defense rests. I, I mean, uh, <laughs> oh. Don't do it again. Uh, Your Honor, uh, cross-examine. Mr. Deck of Cards, are you a devil from hell who has been conjured here to, to serve Mr. Uh, King in his unholy endeavors? Well, the thing about that is I'm not, not a demon. <laughs> what? <sighs> what the? Mr. Queen, did you know about this? Uh, I got confidentiality, right? Uh, yes, of course. No. <laughs> uh, I don't think you're being honest. Order, order! There's too much of an uproar in here. Wah, this is... wah, wah. Okay, maybe don't do that right after I call for order. Uh, look, this is very exciting and strange new information. I think it would be best if we take a short recess. I'll return to the seventh layer of hell where I'm from. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, that's not, that's not good for our case. I, I mean, I told him. I told him I'd call him an Uber. <laughs> Later in the lobby. How we doing oh, no. here, uh, King? Not good. Not good. It really seems like you're a devil worshiper, and you intentionally made it so that the beds are eating people uh, as part of a ritual. But you'll get me off. You're the best lawyer. Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, there's I a. Guess I, there's a, there's always. I mean, have you thought about this? Uh, You're the uh, best lawyer and also the most honest lawyer, isn't that right? Yeah, that's right. Well, what if you did something dishonest? What? You'd be an even better lawyer, probably, right? Well, I don't know, because the other lawyer that I know who's dishonest is the second best lawyer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh... But, I mean, if you assume that, like, honesty aside, you were already a little bit better than him, or maybe a lot better than him, and he managed to get all the way up to second place via being dishonest, that if you were dishonest in turn, you might shoot up even higher. Huh. That makes sense. I know it does. I know. I know. Oh. Our, Dylan. Uh, how are uh, you? Ms. Ace. Okay, uh, join me I'm for a drink in the courtroom bar. Uh, all right. <laughs> Should they have that here? <laughs> Probably not, but they do, so I'm taking advantage of it. <laughs> all right. <sighs> well, Tilly, it's been a while. It sure has, since the divorce. Yes. Yes. Uh, I try not to bring that up to my clients. That you used to be married to me, Tilly Ace? Um, and then we divorced in a rather bitter battle. Yes. I can yes, see how it it's was... actually a massive conflict of interest. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
It's it's true, but it was, and it also was a conflict of interest to our relationship. The world's greatest and most honest lawyer, and the world's most ruthless prosecutor. <sighs> what do you want, Tilly? We were unstoppable. We had some good cases together. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I remember. Listen, uh, listen uh, Dylan. I I just want to say to you, is off the record. I think you're yeah. on the wrong side of this one. I think you should. What? I think you should get out while you can. I mean, I, I don't know what uh, what uh, Queen is paying you, but it can't be worth your soul. Slug down Whoa. my shot and cl- <laughs> slam it on the bar. You say that now, but why don't you look at what's on the other side of this paper? Shh. Well, I guess I'll just pick it up. Awooga! Honk, honk, honk. <laughs> Whoa, where'd you get that horn? <laughs> this is my horn for large numbers. <laughs> uh. Look, I don't have to listen to what you say. We're not married anymore. And, it's not uh, like you listened even when we were married. And I'll stand up here in a bit of a huff. Well, I've said my piece. I'll see you back in court. <sighs> what do I do? What do I do? My two options are to aid my ex-wife and my opponent in this trial in order to find what is most likely the truth or I can be dishonest and and uh, keep my record as the world's greatest lawyer. Well, if you, uh, I'm pretty sure that like you're not actually allowed to help the prosecution in any case. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Quiet. Uh, uh, courthouse drunkard. Uh, yeah, all right, none of my business. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the courtroom. <clears throat> um, I would like to enter into the state's evidence this bed, Exhibit A. <laughs> Observe how it's uh, snapping, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> when I take this chicken drumstick and toss it into the center of the bed. <laughs> The flesh is stripped off in an instant. Now I'm yummy. It even makes little yum yum noises. <laughs> <laughs> this bed devoured three people before it was captured. And uh, it is my belief, and I believe the evidence will show, that Mr. Queen uh, intentionally. Uh, made the, his beds this way to please Baphomet, the demon lord. <laughs> a very, a very compelling case, Ms. Ace. Well, um, Mr. Uh, Mr. King, it's time for your, um, your next uh, witness. <clears throat> uh, thank you, Your Honor. <clears throat> I would like to call to the stand Baphomet, Lord Demon Lord of Darkness. <gasps> we can titter for that one, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, we're being reasonable about this. <laughs> yeah, titter, titter. Titter, 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 titter. The sky is going dark and the earth begins to tremble. <laughs> Dark black clouds are forming right here in the courtroom. A, a sinister frost forms on the window. <sighs> Who calls Baphomet? Oh man, he barely fits inside the courtroom. This He's is huge. Uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is I, Demon Lord. Uh, uh, Dylan King. Dylan King, most honest of lawyers, who has served the cause of justice. You are my enemy, and I throw a tiny fireball at you. Ah, oh, 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 I'm patting it out. Ah, uh, um, uh. objection. The, the, <laughs> the witness is hurling fireballs. <laughs> Sustained. Witness, please watch yourself. Mm, Very well. (laughs) (laughs) Mr. Baphomet, do you recognize my client? I do. (laughs) 
You do, eh? Uh, he is the mortal salesman who sells beds. <laughs> That's right. And uh, have you done any dealings with him? I have. <laughs> You have these deal. Yes, <laughs> the- these dealings were purely of a business and bed-related nature. Is that right? Yes. Uh, okay, uh, that's good. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? You're the guy who fucking called the devil. <laughs> 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 what were you thinking here, exactly? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I figured I'd bluff my way through it until I figured out where my morality aligns. Uh, uh, but I think I, I know which I care about more being the winningest lawyer or being the most honest. Uh, Mr. Baphomet, is it true that my client called you to uh, to let you know that he's trying to appease you by turning his beds into human-eating demons. No. What? <sighs> it was my idea, actually. I <laughs> called him first. <laughs> okay, and he did that, though, right? Yes. <sighs> Uh, what are you saying, Mr. Mr. King? You are incriminating your own uh, <laughs> client. What are you doing, King? You promised you'd get me off. This better be like that scene in Liar Liar, where despite <laughs> forcing the, the person to incriminate themselves, he somehow gets the person off. <laughs> Uh, is it true that you were also you also asked him to do uh, a couple uh, uh, five more uh, killings so that there would be uh, um, twenty three in total? Yes, twenty three is the Baphomet number. <laughs> <laughs> With twenty three souls, I could invade your realm and bring about a new age of horror. <sighs> And, uh, but isn't it true also that this year, uh, Queen Beds, despite its record of putting out 2,000 beds, uh, per week, this year, uh, they have only produced 22 beds? Well, well, I, I, hang on, let me... (laughs) Check my records here. Put on this little pair of glasses. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh shut God. up, fireball! <laughs> ow, 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 ow! Oh, what do you know? That is true. Only 22 beds. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, <clears throat> I, I present to you a man who... Uh, is guilty of the crime he's being accused of. Oh, what a bad defense attorney. <laughs> but only because uh, he, he, he is guilty of uh, turning beds into man-eating demons, but, uh, but he is not guilty of allowing a demon lord to invade our realm. You see, my client was put in a horrible position by this, uh, by this gigantic demon, and he's been working tirelessly to secretly undermine him and save the entire world. You know, minus 22 people who get eaten. Uh, I, uh, Hang on. Objection. <laughs> uh, yes, Ms. Ace. Let me see if I follow this. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Queen is called up by Baphomet. Baphomet says, make 23 people eating beds, because mm-hmm. once 23 people have been eaten, I'll be able to invade and destroy the world. 
Uh-huh. Queen makes 22 <laughs> beds that eat people. Which does not allow Baphomet to invade, but still kills 22 people. <laughs> Why not just not make any <laughs> if he wasn't cool with Baphomet invading? Because my client is a hero. No, I... <laughs> I think your client is, is was trying to trick the devil by making beds that eat people, but not enough for the world to be destroyed so we can keep selling beds and stay in business. Yes, and what's more, um, was it that 23... People needed to each be eaten by one bed, or could one bed, such as the one here in this courtroom, eat multiple people? Uh, I was cool with either one, actually. Is not. No, 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 no. Oh no! The bed! It's attacking people! <laughs> oh, my ankles! <laughs> I'm being eaten. Oh, oh no. <laughs> uh, uh, order. Order in the court. That's nice for me because I'm baffled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Queen, how, how many people has there been? Eighteen and then those two guys in the audience right there. Uh, that makes t- twenty. Uh, so three more people and he'll be able to invade our realm? Hey, Judge, you've got something on your shirt. What, I do? Uh, toss it to oh. the bed. <laughs> oh. oh my god, 21! Uh, two more people and, and Baphomet will be able to get down from the witness stand and start... Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Wait! Of course, Queen! The witness stand! I called him to the stand, and that's why he's here, uh, allowed to, uh, to order his bed to eat all of these people. Sure, sure, but what can you do about it? The trial's still going on! Not for long. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, the defense rests. What?! No! <laughs> no, a vortex is appearing and <laughs> pulling me back to hell. Chomp, chomp, chomp. I'm going to. Queen, you're coming with me, Gramps. <laughs> oh, ah, in a way, no, I deserve I'm... this. <laughs> no, I'm grabbing onto your hand, Queen. Uh, Whoa, uh, I'm getting lifted up too. Uh, uh, Give me your hand. Uh, I can't quite reach. Uh, grab the end if of I... this trumpet. I thought it was a trombone. It was, but I'm not risking my trombone. You can use my trumpet. What? But a trombone has a slide. <laughs> no, the trumpet. My trombone right. is extremely expensive. Uh, all right, I got it anyway. Ah, this isn't over. I'll find another person who runs a mattress company to make evil beds to eat 23 people, and then Baphomet will rule. Whoa! Oh, God. Uh, oh, I've... Oh, I've landed directly on top of you. Oh, I, I see that, yes. I, uh, 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 well, uh, 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 Sorry, I'll get up. <laughs> Brush myself off. Uh, here, uh, let me help you up. Thank you, yes. Uh, um, it's good to keep it professional, of course. Uh, uh, well, well. Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, the defense is rested. The judge has been devoured. Um, <laughs> how do you find... Uh, Mr. Queen. Mutter, <laughs> whisper, whisper. <laughs> okay, and uh, it looks like they're deliberating. We've got 
We've got a, a jury of 12 people yeah, here. Yeah, 12 people, which let's, is how many people it's supposed to be. Six pairs right. of two, I guess, if you wanted that's to. That's right. Uh, that, that, that's, that's sort of the way I was picturing it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Let's see what they have to say. Uh, well. Uh, we have thought it over a lot. After much deliberation. Oh, so much we deliberation. Have come, <laughs> we have come to... A verdict. Oh, it's a verdict. Indeed we have. Yes, and it's a good verdict, too. <clears throat> very good, very good. <clears throat> uh, yes, it's one of our finest verdicts. It's such a nice verdict. Well, I don't know whether it's nice or not, but... Uh, it's kind of both good and bad, you know? It's six of one, uh, half dozen of the other kind of thing. Mm, yes. Uh, and uh, that was... F uh, wait. The, the Abner and Wabner, the two yes, old men, yes, that was the snakes, <laughs> and the normal... Yeah, that's four. Uh, uh, four pairs right. of two, so that's eight people. Um, uh, wait, you're forgetting about my dad! And um, <laughs> Mr. Johnson. <laughs> oh, right. The <laughs> forklift and the large printing press that's sitting in the, in the jury stand. <laughs> How did we forget them? Yeah. Beep, beep. And, of course, their two children. <laughs> yeah, we're on the jury, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the verdict, then? Oh, we'll tell you. We, the jury... Find the defendant. Uh, a guilty. Oh, he's so guilty. He did everything that he was accused of. <laughs> <laughs> but we also find him guilty of being a hero. I didn't agree with that. <laughs> he's, a, he's, a, he's a hero in the sense that he didn't kill quite as many people as he could have. <laughs> Yeah, that was probably a bit of a stretch on, on my part. So, he will be going to prison instead of being eaten by the snakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darn, and I was hungry. We were going to unhinge our jaws. <laughs> and I would gobble him up like a Christmas turkey. What? Like a what? Like a what? Nice. Ah, uh, Jesse. That was nice, Josh. That was a nice thing that you did. That was nice. That was a nice it, thing you did. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it was a nice thing you did. It was very kind of you. Yeah. Say, Josh, I was thinking if... Jesse? Uh, 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 shoot, he's uh, cutting uh, out. Uh, uh, and the first of... Uh, uh, snakes. Uh, 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 cream cheese. Uh, uh, uh. Snakes? Cream cheese? What could he be saying? <laughs> French mistake. Um, <laughs> French mistake? Find you online, Josh. Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> uh, well, at least this is only... This, these sort of tech issues are only starting to happen at the very end. Uh, uh, I'll try to say my uh, plugs real quick. You can find me... Uh, on Instagram at the Josh Pilt Show, uh, or find Big Town Improv on all the social medias. Rate and review us. Yes. Uh, and uh, just uh, can, uh, Josh, find. I'm like, hang on, I'm gonna disconnect and reconnect. Boo -doo. On Instagram at Jesse Dot Moriarty. <laughs> and at, uh, on Twitter, at Jesse Moriarty. And don't forget to rate and review Big Town Improv. That's right. Now, Josh, and... can I ask you something? Sure, go ahead. Um, you know what my f absolute favorite part of this episode was? What's that? The, the part that never cut out, you know? <laughs> the, the part that happens, happened perfectly with no issues. Uh, the part that was a uh, pre-recorded yeah uh, happening bit of audio yeah the, that, from the yeah. from our orchestra in the orchestra pit there um, right is the is the music that's played what 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 is that music Josh well that music 
uh of course that's all of uh, that's all original music and it's written and composed by steve wilder blumenthal of wilder blue music dot hmm? josh well, calm uh, sorry i was just taking a breath of course of course <laughs> well i do love that uh, music that's good music that's uh, good music and if you like that music you should rate and review big town improv <laughs> <laughs> Go rate and review your favorite podcast That always works Yes, I mean, whenever I'm feeling down That's what I do Or whenever I like yeah. a piece of music I go and re- rate and review <laughs> yeah. podcasts Exactly uh, If you don't want to By the way, if you don't want to write a full review Just write us a bird fact Bird and, fact and, uh, It might get if featured If you do that that's right. If you do that, it may be it may inspire some of our improv. Uh, also, if you do that to make sure that we definitely see it, feel free to email bigtownimprov at gmail dot com uh, to let us know. Yeah. Well, Josh, uh, it's been a ride today. I have to say, it sure has. It sure has. But uh, you know, I guess I guess it's time to say from the to the and from. All the way to, and from, to your, bye.